Hello, hola, and shalom. And if you're watching this on a Saturday, Shabbat Shalom. I'm Rebellia, and we are back with another episode of Nancy Drew, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. And before we get started, I did want to let you guys know I am planning to upload on Wednesday. It's going to be a Seven Days to Die series, which is not like what I normally do. This is probably it's going to have uh, gory graphics and some rough language, all that stuff. I'm going to be collabing it with my husband. Um, so it should be showing up on Wednesday. He's here pretty soon. It, it's a zombie horror game. Um, sorry, zombie survival game. But uh, just want to let you guys know, I haven't forgotten about you. It's just we've had a lot of technical difficulties. And it's like we fix one thing and two things go wrong. So... All right, let's get into the mystery. Now, I don't remember this. Okay, what is this? Oh, we had to figure out... Oh, okay, we have to match these. Okay, I've got most of those symbols written down here. Oh, there's six, and I only have four. That's not good. Okay, let's see. This. And this is road. Okay. Oh, I bet I was supposed to put my card in there, too. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this was road. This is ink. This is black. Uh, this is throne. 19. And oh, there we go. That way we get our... Get the credit on our card. Okay. So, now... Let's go to this one. Alright. Try your hand at this ancient Maya war game. The object is to capture all of your opponent's warriors by bumping off all of his or her pieces by landing on a s square occupied by them. Each player has two turns. You must roll the corn die on your first turn, but can press on your second pass on your second turn. If a warrior runs off the playing field, he will return from the opposite direction. Okay, before we do that, uh, there was something about something in that office about the ball game. Okay, over here. There's a thing in this drawer. Okay, let's see. Let me go through this real quick, guys, and then I'll let you know what I figure out. Wow. So if we read all of this properly, yeah, he seems a little insane, but it's sounding like uh this is Coco Crinkle. But it's sounding like Joanna bit out of line on some of this. Okay. So, with the ball game, if, the, if you pass, the computer will pass on your second, you know, on the second turns. Uh, ones and are frequent. Was it? Ones are frequent and fours are frequent or something like that. Okay, let's uh I forgot to put our card in. Got to put the card in. Okay. So play against the computer, play against the friend, we'll play against the computer. You will play the orange warriors on the left side. The computer will play with the blue warriors on the right side. You must roll for the computer. Good luck. Okay, so we want to roll. Hi. That's a four.
Okay, so that doesn't make any sense to me. It's kind of like chess. You have to, or not chess. Not be chuck. No, uh, be chess. Anyway, you have to take out their characters. You did it. Awesome. Okay, so got that now. Okay. Now, there's also supposed to be something over here. I think this might have been the ball game. Oh no, that's the quiz. Okay, so let's put our card in. Alright, welcome to the Beach Hill Mayan Temple. Nope, the Museum Guide. You'll learn about the Maya culture, maybe even discover the hidden tomb of King Bacal. Use your temple key to card to play the different games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's view our progress. Oh, wow. We've done pretty good, so we're almost there. Uh. Oh, okay, so we did these two, now we just need to do the quiz. Okay, Pakal rolled over which city in present day Mexico? That is Palenque. I can hit my cue. Name is, uh, name of Pakal's mother. What is the name of the calendar used to compute the 260 day ceremonial year? That is the Sulkin. What is the name of the supreme god in mythology? There we go. What is the name of the modern day or modern Mayan language? Now this is going to be kind of an issue because I have found three different things. I'm saying there's like several variants. Got it. Cool. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the Temple Level 1 quiz. You, If you have already solved the other activities, you may now use your Temple Key card to descend to the next level. Awesome! You need that, and let's get on to the next level. Okay, so... Okay. Oh, wow. That is interesting. Okay, so we got two more computers in here. Oh, and we got something here. Uh, okay. And Camille. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Key features. Jawbone has exposed jawbone. Uh, okay. Ew. Okay. Ah, uh, black spots. Okay, this is creepy. Okay, that was very, very creepy. Um, let me see what all information I can get from that, written down, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, everybody, I think I've got quite a bit of the information that they expect you to get from all that. I had to run through that thing like 20 times, something like that, just to get it all together. Um, there we go. Ah, that was crazy. So, all right, let's uh, back up here. Who was this? Oh, is this that ball game? 
Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so I know what I no idea what I, Oh, I get it, I get it. I'm supposed to get it up through this hoop. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh high okay, that's medium. Let's go with a uh, yeah, let's go there. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, let's do high. Let's see where we are here. Well, that didn't make sense. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so still want the high. Let's go with a five on power. Well, that was too much power. Oh crap. I think it was a three on power, wasn't it? No. This says a four. All right, so the first one is a high angle with a four power. Last time we tried a high angle and power of four. Let's try a power of three. No. Nope. Okay. Okay, so you know, this is a high with a power of four. Let's try putting this to a middle angle with a power of four. No. Interesting. Okay. Power of two. Okay, that's too low. Okay, there we go. Alright, so high power four, the mid power three. You know, we're probably going to want a mid with a power of four, I would think. Nope, that's too low. Okay. Dang it. So back to here. Kind of reminds me of that El Dorado, the the game that's shown in the movie of El Dorado or the cartoon. Uh, there we go. Just right. Okay, so now let's go with another high angle. Let's do a power three. That's still too low. Are you kidding me? some ways I wish we didn't have to watch this over and over again, but that's probably just me. So now we need high angle. Let's do a power of five. Let's see if that goes too high. Yeah, that went way too high. So maybe it's power of four again. Now 
let's do power of four. Okay, so that's too low. All right, so that says it's probably not the high angle. So maybe do it this way. Then the next one is a mid angle, the power of three. So maybe the next one is the same angle, but like a power of five. So let's try that. Got it. Okay, and then I'm betting the last one is a low with a power of six. Got it. Ah, I am a genius. Okay, that was not that hard. Just kind of a process of elimination there. Okay, let's uh, go to these computers. See if we can get through this quiz. Oh wait, that's a quiz. Uh, I need to get this in here. I want to try to get through these and hopefully do something else before we uh, get started. Okay, wait, back to main menu. Congratulations, you've reached level 2 of the Mayan Mystery Temple. Remember to use your temple key card when you solve the activities on this level. Solving all of them will allow you access to level 3. Who knows what awaits you in the bottom level? Okay, so... What is the name of one of Shield Jaguar's wives? Uh, we'll have to go back and look that up. Uh, in the meantime, let's try this one because this should be a different thing. What's this? Maze game. Offline. Enter in system login and then password. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so maybe we not do this yet. <laughs> uh, let's see, can we look at him? Oh, come on, there we go. Oh, I thought it was gonna let me look at something else. No, I don't want to look at that. Alright, um, you know what? Let's just go ahead, we'll go back up and we'll see. What else we can do real quick? Uh, all right. Let's see. I know one of the things we needed to do was that audio thing. Let's uh, check our little list and see if there's anything else we needed to do. Sort out shards of pottery. Yeah, we got to find more pieces though. Match record narrations and reorder Maya numbering exhibit in the main exhibit hall. Really? I don't remember this being here last time. Uh, reorder Maya numbering exhibit. Okay, what's this? Oh, yeah, that's. I was going to go through the temple stuff. Uh. Tools, uh, microscope, restoration. Okay, so it's not any of that stuff. Um. Well, let's go talk to Joanna because we don't have all the pottery. Honestly, I don't feel like going through the recordings right now. So let's uh, go see if we can talk to Joanna. It's locked. Seriously? Can we use this? It's locked. Nope. Okay, so apparently uh, it's late. So, all right, I guess all we have that we can do is to go to um, the audio stuff. Okay, so let me verify with my picture which ones need to be switched. 
because I know you guys already saw me do part of this. Okay, everyone, I think I've got everything all written down on what needs what and that whole ordeal. Uh, so we've got to figure this out. Okay, that's H. All right, so... Uh, H is correct, so we don't have to worry about that one. This is I, that's correct. Uh, you know what? Let's just find A first. Because I'm not even finding F on my... Oh, yeah, F is correct. Okay, so let's do A. It's incorrect. It needs D. The Maya used different... The Maya used different methods to represent numbers. Okay, so... Uh... Okay, so A is currently number seven. And that one is on C. So that would be this one, which is number five. Okay. So these two need to be switched. So this goes up to seven. The Maya used different. Okay. Then this needs to go down to five. All right, so. That's these ones done. Uh, oh, wait, no. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, this one is finished. D is wrong. Okay, so here's D. It's number 14. Okay. Strange supernatural creatures. Some yeah. Okay. So, all right. D is supposed to be seventeen. Or I mean seven. Sorry. So that corrects that. Uh, C is supposed to be fourteen because it's the monsters. Strange super. There we go. Okay. So now we've got that finished. Okay, G is incorrect. Uh, let's see, G is incorrect. C has been corrected. And J is incorrect. So G and J need to be switched. Okay, so this is D, E, F. Okay, so we need to. G is 13. And here's F. F is 16. So that's that. And then here. And I forgot what the other one was. Crap. So I'm like 8. Maya scribes. No. Nope. The Maya used different. Why did I do that? Although the geographic range of Maya cities is well known, it is difficult to determine the range of Maya influence. Okay. Some experts believe the Maya may uh... have traveled this. Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas of the world. Ham radios are often the. No, only that's not it. Ceramic bowls such. Nope. Alright, I should have written it down, and I didn't. This was F. In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costume. Uh, this one is incorrect still. And this is the Rutherford Slab. And that needs the Sulkin. Okay. Alright, so that's what it was. I got it wrong. F was correct originally, and I went to F. I was supposed to go to J. Okay, so where is F? F is down by the ham radio. So I accidentally swapped the wrong ones. Okay, that's the range of the Maya. Okay. Oops. 
So we need to fix F, excuse me, and get J. G H I J. In addition to adorning themselves with jewel. Okay, so that one's wrong. It needs to be the rather the calendar one, which I think was 13. The date on this slab uses the Solkin. Yes, okay. So that part's correct. Now we need F fixed. And that one I think was nine. In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costumes, yep. the Maya shaped their bodies to heighten their beauty. Okay, so Maya scribes. Nope. The Maya use different methods to represent there, numbers. That looks like it's Here is an example of the numbers from zero to nineteen. Okay. From top left to bottom right. Notice right. how some numbers are represented with bars and dots. Oh my gosh. And some are represented with pictures. All right, so we've got that finished now. Now that it finally hushed. So. That part's finished. Let's mark this off, and then we're going to have to call this an episode, guys. I really am sorry about that. I uh, feel like we've hardly got anywhere, but we did get through the first level of the temple. We got through part of the second level, and we got all that recording reordered and corrected. So I think on the next episode of uh, this mystery, uh, we will... Talk to Joanna and figure out what we need to do with this. And then we've got to find this other piece here. Because, I mean, the spot is over here. But I think we're still missing a piece. I need to find another piece. Yeah. Yeah, we're still missing a piece and it takes the one out of our inventory. So we got to figure out where that is. So anyway, guys, I hope you did did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and would like to see more content by myself be sure to hit the little bell so that you're notified anytime i upload an episode and yeah so if you guys have any tips or tricks or suggestions of other things you like to see me play be sure to leave that down in the comments and until next time have fun and i'll see you in the next episode